Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Tiffany. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys an update on my hair, nails, skin, everything, real quick. So basically, um, last time I talked to you guys about my nails, I chopped all my nails off, and I was starting over with you guys. And so pretty much what happened was I started over again and I started over again. Um, unfortunately, my aunt passed away, my favorite aunt, and it's been a lot of work for me just, you know, being a, being a student, running a, running a, helping run a nonprofit, have my own business, have my own life. You know what I'm saying? Even my bed, she be calling me like, where you at, girl? And I be like, I'm coming. Um, so pretty much I'm just going to go through it with you guys really quickly. So my nails, I... These are acrylic nails. I chopped all my nails off once again. And so this will actually help me grow my nails out way, way faster. So I'm going to tell you guys what I've been doing. I, My sister buys fresh flowers once a week, so she bought some roses. I ended up taking a couple of the petals, putting them inside of here. I added jojoba oil, moringa oil, and geranium. Geranium is very, very good for your nails. Um... I use a jojoba because it's kind of like a, it's like a carrier oil for me. And the moringa is also known as the tree of life. And I put it on my hair um, and it just, it just hooked me up. So I wanted to see what that combo was going to do. Um, pretty much I had my nails done for about three weeks. And I also got my hair done one day before I got my nails done. So I wanted to show you guys that there is a consistency that's happening in my body. So I have probably about two days before I'm going to start my period. And so usually I'll start to get like little areas of breakouts and stuff right here. And so with that being said, my nails and my hair and my skin are all on the same pattern. I drink a roughly 64 ounce of water a day and I take uh, like fish oil, bee pollen, and um, different vitamins and stuff like that. Um, probably like five to six times a week because my body just requires a lot more um, nutrients and stuff like that. So if you don't go outside and spend a bunch of money, if you don't have the money to buy these oils, go to the 99 cent store, go to the Dollar Tree, read the back of the box, make sure that it says um, appropriate for topical and that it doesn't have like a lot of of other filler oils inside of there and make yourself one of these here's pretty much what um an empty one would look like you'll get like this little i don't know roll on and i just put it on like maybe two or three times a week and it's been very helpful for me so because my hair has been up for three weeks and my nails have um been um with acrylic for three weeks even this little this little area right here, the fill line, it is pretty much at the same growth rate as my hair. And so I'm very happy about that. Additionally, um, these vitamins have been helping with my eyebrows because usually I will near my eyebrows. So I wanted my natural eyebrow before I like add makeup or anything to be a little bit fuller. And so for me, I have not done my natural eyebrows since August. And you know, like it's time, like even my little mustache. <laughs> My little mustache need to go. So I'll be nearing my eyebrows because I really need to clean these bad boys up. Like, you know, this is not. So um, I definitely encourage you guys to keep a track record of when you get your hair done. Make sure that your ends are trimmed. I get my ends trimmed. I told you I'm not ready to cut. I'm not. Um, if, if I want to grow, I need them to, I need, I need it to be a clean canvas. For the area to be healthy and strong at. I also um, tied my hair down with a scarf and a bonnet every single night. And so I'll be doing some treatments. Like I'll be doing an aloe vera treatment on my hair. I slice the aloe vera. I pureed it. And then I get all of the extra juice out to separate the the little, I don't know, leftovers in the um, it, from the plant so that it doesn't mess up my hair so I'll be soaking my hair tomorrow but you guys I just want to say I appreciate you guys for uh, saying positive things in the comment section it's very encouraging me um, to get back to making videos for you guys and really stick to your routine make sure you're drinking enough water and remember having a clean canvas for your nails to grow on like the person like my I'm just update just so you guys know my nails are growing back very fast like to the point that i'm like dang i'm about to get another manicure but the person that did my nails like he 
he killed it. Um, I actually, I like when guys do my nails because they do nails the way that a man wants to see them. Sometimes ladies do nails the way that the women want to see the nails. And I just be like, I'm going to go with this dope. <laughs> so, uh, you guys, if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys want to see me do another video, I'll be showing y'all my takedown process. Because as y'all can see in my hairline, honey, it is dry. It is really, really dry. And so, um, that is just because I have naturally, um, like a little bit more of a dry scalp. So I'll be actually using my hooded steamer with the aloe vera juice on my hair to penetrate that. And then I'll be doing an Afoji treatment on my hair because my hair be breaking sometimes. And I really just be needing that extra boot of uh, chemical strength. Um, so that's what I'll be doing to my hair. But I'm very happy that I ended up getting my hair trimmed back in uh june so it's time for me to get another trim and i'm okay with that this is a healthy trim because my goal is for um healthy shiny long hair strong but not like i don't want to have like one half of my hair this long another half this long like i'm not playing around like that so if i need to cut both of them to get to this length and then we gradually get down together don't be afraid to trim your dead ends ladies and gentlemen um and if you want your nails to grow long and strong make sure you try Get yourself a little combo. If you're allergic to something, swap it out. But keeping your cuticles and your nail beds um, clean and um, moisturized is what's going to keep you from having little tears. Because that's where my nails be tearing now, honey. Um, I have had my nails tear all up in this area. So until next time, guys, God bless you guys. Stay safe. Um, you know, be on the lookout for some more videos. And <sighs> say something down in the comment section. I like that. All right, guys.